What is going on guys, Quality XA here today and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new video on Destiny 2 on the Black Forge as well as that we're going to be talking about some of the weekly news so let's jump into this video. So first off we're actually going to be talking about this so this is going to be the brand new raid teaser now we don't get too much information from this barring the fact that there is a fallen enemy by the looks of it it's also going to be set on the city the european dead zone but as well as that part of this raid will actually include you going on a sparrow so i'm going to let the trailer play for you remember this guardian when the darkness sought destruction of all things the Black Armory persevere. Our very soul resides in that vault. It must be secured. The Black Armory is depending on you. So yes, pretty awesome. The trailer was pretty darn decent, but moving on. So firstly, talking about Faction Rallies and Trials of the Nine. Cosmo basically did confirm that Trials and Faction Rallies will not be returning during the Season of the Forge. It's pretty uh, pretty annoying. Hopefully, maybe later, at a later date, they will actually come back. Trials of the Nine being one of my more fun events. But hopefully, if they do work on these events, make them much, much better, then they will be more enjoyable, as well as that more have a well a better lifespan on them so you'll be able to play trials a lot more and there will be some more items for you to get same with the faction rallies as well now moving on spoiler alert we're going to be talking about the raid as well as some of the weapons and some of the rewards you guys can actually expect from that so spoiler over we're jumping into that now so we have the weapons so here you guys can see we've actually got four weapons for the raid we currently don't know too much about these weapons but yes this looks like a shotgun you've got a rocket launcher a fusion rifle by the looks of it and a pulse rifle that is just what i gather from these images let me know your thoughts in that comment section below as well as if you know any more information on these as well as that, we do have all of the armor for the new raid. So we've got the Bulletsmith armor for the Titan. For the Hunter, we've got the Bladesmith's memory. And then for the Warlock, we've got the Gunsmith's devotion. So looks like some pretty cool armor. Really cannot wait to see it in game. We've also got the Recovered Memories Emblem, so that tracks the number of times you've actually completed the raid. And then last but not least, you've actually got Classified, and this is going to be a brand new Sparrow, which is actually this one here. Again, we don't actually have a concrete image of this, but from this icon, it does look pretty decent, following the same theme as the armor, having that red and black effect, and also following the same theme as the weapons. Moving on, we've actually got some new perks in the database. So first up, we've got Fallen Absorption. So for this, destroying a Fallen Shield refreshes your grenade ability. We've got Fallen Armament, so killing a Fallen Enemy with a grenade causes heavy ammo to drop. We've got Fallen Rejuvenation, so killing a Fallen Elite refreshes your class ability. And then you've got Fallen Barrier. So receiving fallen damage gives a 20% reduction in damage for 10 seconds. So some very cool mods here. These are definitely going to be linked to the raid from what I do know currently. But it doesn't say that they're actually raid specific. So when you do actually fight the fallen, these armor mods will actually help you out in any situation, not just the raid. So pretty awesome. And then last but not least this week, we're actually going to be talking about the Dawning event. So the Dawning is coming back in Destiny 2. I'm not too sure on the date as of yet, but expect it to come mid-December. So possibly next week. If not, it will be the week after. So first up, we actually have some ingredients. So these ingredients are because Evil Avante is actually returning. Now these ingredients will allow us to actually craft some stuff. We currently don't know what, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Possibly some stuff for the event. Uh, we may give it to different characters, different foods, all of that kind of stuff. But it does seem pretty cool. And you guys can see the list of ingredients. Uh, you've got Vex Milk, Ether Cane, Cabal Oil, all of that kind of stuff. And it does seem pretty goddamn awesome. Moving on though, we do have the Deliciously Cheerful Blueprint. Now again, this could be linked or will be linked 
to the crafting as well using the cooking so you can see the objectives you've got Alinskny bird seed to Hawthorn you've got the gifts bait to 10 you've got vanilla blades to shacks and then you've got chocolate ship cookies to Amanda you need one of them so yeah it does look pretty goddamn awesome some of the stuff there's going to be a lot of crafting and we do actually have a proper image of this sparrow so as you guys can see here we've got what looks to be a guardian riding the sleigh should we call it but does look like a pretty nice sparrow hopefully we can actually use this in the air we'll have to wait and see about that but an absolute flying sparrow would be amazing and obviously we've got a hovering sparrow but a sparrow that could fly it would be awesome so the dawning return we've got a holiday reunion where it does say that eva has returned and then of course we have got the brand new engrams moving on though we do have some new multiplayer remotes that are going to be coming in the dawning so we've got fist bumps chest bumps and there's actually going to be more remotes in which you can actually interact with a guardian so um yeah will be pretty awesome i do believe both of you actually have to have the emote for it to actually work but still a pretty cool concept. Let's just hope it's not like the Destiny 1 version. And hopefully you can both get them lined up pretty easily. Moving on, we do actually have our first look at a brand new weapon. As well as some of the gear. So you guys can see we've got Avalanche. This is going to be a brand new machine gun coming in the dawning. It's got adaptive frame and rampage. We've also got the Warlock uh, Frost Reach uh, uh, gear here. I currently haven't found the Titan or the Hunter gear, but uh, yeah, no doubt that that will be arriving in the database soon. But the theme of the gear does look pretty nice. I really, of course, like the blue as well as white effect like we've had in the past dawnings. As well as that, the chest piece looks amazing. You guys can also see that we've got the Winter Drift engram, and this is going to be the engram for the dawning, of course. So as well as all that good stuff in the dawning, guys, I have just checked out and Bungie has actually just made a brand new news article. But we actually have some of the videos of the emotes. You guys can see the multiplayer emotes. We've also got a throw down emote where you actually throw a hockey stick on the floor and uh, get your gloves on. We've also got a new exotic emote which you can purchase with silver, which looks to be one where you actually go by the fire and uh, cook some uh, cookies by the looks of it, which is pretty goddamn awesome. They do also say that the new sparrow will come with glimmer boost. So while boosting, the sparrow spawns a glimmer present for every few seconds until the boost runs out. And you've also got glimmer tricks. So when a player lands a trick with a sparrow, three to five glimmer presents are spawned. And then you've got instant summon as well. So pretty goddamn awesome it does say regarding the baking as well you will be able to bake enhancement cores mods legendary gear the avalanche heavy machine gun featuring random rolls as well so pretty goddamn decent and something to look forward to within the dawning this year last but not least we have some other stuff to talk about we have got a new emblem which is currently in the bungee store so when you do buy anything, you guys can get this first to the Forge Destiny in-game emblem. This is one of the best emblems I've seen in-game. I have got it, and I'm looking at giving away some, but let me know in that comment section below if you guys would like the chance of winning one, because I will pick up a few more if possible. We've also got the raid jacket as well for the new Scourge of the Past raid. It's going to begin on Friday at 9am PST, and uh, yeah... As you guys can see, if you're signed up to the email, you guys can see it. And it's currently listed on the Bungie store as well. So I do believe you have to complete it on the first day it does actually come out, which is going to be December the 12th, 9am PST. Or, sorry, Friday. So, um, yeah, pretty goddamn awesome. If you guys did enjoy this video, though, a like would be much appreciated. As well as subscribing if you guys are new around here. But as always, peace out, and I hope you enjoyed. Remember this, Guardian. When the darkness sought destruction of all things, the Black Armory persevered. Our very soul resides in that vault. It must be secured. The Black Armory is depending on you.